My name is Maria and today I will show you how to make a chocolate lava cake. If you love chocolate, this will be the perfect story for you. Chocolate lava cake. When you pull the spoon on the cake and you see that chocolate oozing out of the cake, it's the best feeling you feel. When you, that chocolate, it's so good. You will never change the story for another dessert. From now on, chocolate lava cake will be your dessert forever. To make a chocolate lava cake, you will need six ounces of dark chocolate or any chocolate. What I like dark chocolate for me is better, have a better taste, is more rich, but you can use all the regular chocolate. Also, you need three eggs. I use extra large eggs, which are the perfect eggs for you to use in a lava cake. I also, you need all purple flowers. All purple flowers, they are different kinds of flowers. You don't need to be in, like attached to one brand of flower. You could use any flower as long as it's all purple flowers. You need two spoons of purple flowers. Do not use the whole bag, only two spoons of purple flowers. You're also gonna need four spoons of sugar. Very important to add sugar. Even though the chocolate, you think it has sugar, sometimes it's like the bitter, it's important to put the sweetness to add that rich on it. Also, you need butter. You could use, uh, I prefer unsalted butter, but if you don't find unsalted butter, you could use regular butter with salt. This is the little trick here. When you use butter that has salt, you don't need to add salt to the, chalk, um, to the lava cake. But if your butter is no salt on it, then you add a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt is something that you could grab in these two fingers. That is a pinch of salt. Do not add a spoon or half a spoon or a teaspoon because it's not going to work. So now we're going to line the cups with a little bit of butter and a little bit of flour so your lava cake do not stick. I like to use a paper towel so it doesn't get uh, too much butter. So you know, you just need a little bit, not a lot. And also you need the flour. What I like to do, I go one by one. You could do all at the same time if you like, but let's do all the butter first. So we're done with that. Now we're gonna go to prepare the lava cake. Okay, now we're gonna cut the chocolate in little pieces. So it's easy because we need to melt this. You could melt this on the microwave. Now I'm gonna cut the butter, a little chunk. See, it's good if your butter is out of the fridge so it's not that hard. The softer, the better. We're gonna melt fast. So now I'm gonna take this to the microwave uh, for two minutes, like, but you have to go like 30 seconds and then check, move the chocolate and then put it back again and check. Now we're gonna beat the eggs. I like to crack my eggs in a different bowl just to make sure that the eggs are good, you know, cause if you already have mixed some eggs and you add an egg that is not good, your whole recipe is gonna mess it, messed. So that's why I like to look at the egg Make sure they, they are good before I do anything. Okay, three eggs. Now we're gonna add the sugar too. After the sugar, then you add a pinch of salt. Remember, this is a pinch of salt. Now, this is how the chocolate, after I put it in the microwave, it look. Chocolate, we're gonna add it to the eggs. We have to add it slowly with the machine on. You cannot stop the machine because then it will cook the egg before you put it in the oven. Now you're gonna add the two spoons of flour slowly. And 
or last, I forgot to tell you the, uh, to let you know that you need one spoon of vanilla. I uh, like to use dark vanilla. You can use, I know one little spoon, so I just add a little bit. You know, if you don't know the measurement, you just have to add one spoon of vanilla. Lava cake is ready to put on the cup. And then after that, we're gonna bring it to the over 400 degree for 12 minutes. Make sure that you only put it for 12 minutes because then it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be too hard. Okay, so when you finish and you put your uh, chocolate in the cups, you have to pot a little bit so they be even and all the air come up. Oh, so when you bake them, then you have beautiful lava cake. Just a little pot, that's it. Okay, done. Now we're gonna take it to the oven, 400 degree Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. Do not let them more than 20, 12 minutes because then they're gonna overcook and the lava cake is not what you're looking for. So now this is how the lava cake uh, came out. Now we're gonna take it out of the cup. You need to wet a knife. You just go around. You see? And get a plate. Put it on the plate. Lava cake is out. And this is the way it's supposed to look. Oh. See, and this you serve it with ice cream. Okay, now we're gonna uh, taste the lava cake. So the ice cream is how you eat it. See how it comes. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my god. You need to try this. If you like this recipe, click and the like button. If you made this lava cake, I would love to see your picture, to see how it came out. If you like me and you like the recipe that I made today, follow me in Kyle.com so you will see all the recipes that I will make in the future. I see you. Ciao, ciao.